Hi everyone, Matt with Split Dragon here. Uh, so this is the fourth video where I'm uh, walking through Lazada Seller Center uh, and um, demonstrating uh, the, the core use cases and functionality that's available to you once you start your seller selling journey. Um, in the first video, I, I talked about uh, creating products. In the second, I, I talked about managing products. And then in the last video, I just introduced the media center. So today uh, should be a very quick one. I, I'm just going to walk through the, the workflow for manage images. Uh, so manage images is, is really quite basic. And, and it was it was built uh, in, in the background for uh, API sellers. So if you're a, a big seller or a big brand that needs an API integration in order to create a mass number of products, um, this this view was basically created for you. Um, and, and what you have basically, if you navigate from products to manage images, then you can come here and you have like a single interface to manage the images of multiple products. So it's quick and easy for you to go through that. You can search. For a given SKU, uh, if you want to find it, I don't know. We can just do one, two, three. Maybe there's uh, SKU. Yep. Okay. So we have one, two, three avocado as an SKU. Uh, and this is test environment, of course. You can filter and see which products are missing in an image, right? So there's there's three uh, products that are missing in an image. So um, if you want to go through the process of creating your products at first, um, you can go to uh, products, uh, add products. And if you need a little bit more time to work on your images, you can go work on your images in isolation and then come back and then upload them all here in just a quick, simple form instead of having to go into the individual SKU level. So um, that's basically the functionality that exists uh, right now for the manage images feature. Um, quite simple, quite basic. I think if you're a small seller, you might not use this. Um, and, and you can just go through the normal flow by going to manage products. And then from manage products, you can go over and navigate to an individual SKU. You can click edit details. And then you can add images from your media center or from your local device by going like this, either upload or a media center. Um, I think that's going to be the most common use case. But if you're a big guy, if you're if you're a big woman or you're you're a big uh, a big seller, a big ERP player, um, this is going to be a valuable tool for you uh, because posting product images uh, via API is not a very uh, smooth process, uh, to be honest with you. So yeah, that's that's it for manage images. Um, if you appreciate this content, please uh, please. Sign up to our blog uh, for more tips, tools, and tactics to help improve your Lazada sales like this. Uh, if you have any questions, just please leave a comment uh, below or send an email to support at splitdragon.com. And we're here to help. All right. Thank you. Bye.